Michael here with the How to Draw and Paint channel. Well, with Easter coming up, we've got to have an Easter bunny. And uh, even if it's not Easter, a bunny is a fun thing to draw. So uh, we're going to use coins uh, or small circles. A quarter is a one inch circle if you uh, don't have a quarter. And uh, you can use something, anything, uh, a bottle cap. Uh, you could find something that's round. And then find something that's smaller, and I'm going to use um, maybe a nickel or maybe a dime. Let's use a dime here. And just do a couple of circles right inside there. Whoop. Try to move my hand so that you can see it. And let's put some highlights, some little highlight circles. These are more like ovals those eyes. Okay, now we're going to give this guy a little circle right here. Um, we don't have coin that small, so we're just going to freehand that little circle right there, sketch it. And right at the top, I do a little triangle nose. Right there. And we're going to use this circle here to guide us for the mouth and then we're going to give this guy a line right there and some nice big long funny teeth to eat Easter carrots all right um, I know there's Easter eggs nobody nobody knows about Easter carrots but uh, but bunnies don't eat eggs do they so let's give this bunny some eye um, eyebrows here we use that quarter again to help us shape those there like that and now we've got to figure out the bunny's head and what we're going to use is we're going to do sort of a, uh, a diamond shaped head so we're gonna have a point here a point here a point down here and a point somewhere over there so how far away is that well it's not quite a dime away but we'll make it um, we'll make it something like that, and I'm going to take the quarter here, and I'm going to draw a little curve right there, and I'm going to draw a little curve right there. Don't worry if it's not exactly on our little dot. And then I'm going to take that same quarter and I make a little curve down at the bottom, and a little curve up here at the top. And now I need to connect these up with something straight. So I've got a little piece of a ruler here. It's got some tape on it because it's broken. Somebody was using it for something that you're not supposed to do with a little plastic ruler. But that's okay because tape has put it back together. Well, this is a kind of like a diamond. Um, it's a little taller than what uh, up here than what we've got down below, but that's all right. So I'm going to round these corners out there, like that. We got something like that, and now our bunny needs ears. So what are we going to do about those? Well, we've got to figure out where the tops of those ears are. And those ears are going to be standing straight up, and we're going to make them go way up there. Way up there like that. So, you see where the pupil is here? Let's line them up roughly with that pupil. And roughly with the outside of the pupil over here. And in order to help us shape them, I'm going to draw a nickel circle right here. And a nickel circle right here about halfway up like that and then we want the tops to be round so we can just draw some little curves up there because we don't have something that small and we'll use these nickels to help us shape the curve on these yeah something like that and I'll come right around there like that And they attach that one. That one's a little thicker than this one, so we're gonna, we're gonna just kind of adjust them. 
drawing is all about making adjustments. Basically, the, you erase and fix until you like it, until it's right. And now, um, we're going to do the inside of the ear. Something like that. Right there, that's cute. I like that. And this hair, this um, coming up here, we're going to have, let's see, we're going to use our nickel to draw a little curl of hair coming around right there. All right. Now we're just going to put some curves in here and play around with that a little bit. I think this can come up over like that a little bit. All right, now our bunny's body, we're gonna put a little, little nickel circle down here and give our bunny some little, little arms. This will be the, the paws right here. You see, I would just take those two circles and we hook them up just like that. And now Bunny has got some big, strong legs and some big feet. So let's give this bunny some some big bunny feet. That. And so what we're going to do is we're going to draw a circle. Kind of, well, more like an oval, but I'll make a circle since I said circle. Draw a circle there as our guide, and we're going to come up over that circle, and then we're going to sweep down, and we're going to come up over it right there. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to turn this straight here for you. Okay, and sweep down right there, and then like that. And then we're going to erase that circle, erase that one, and erase our construction circles in there. And we're going to get um, my paintbrush. Make sure your paintbrush is dry. And uh, erase those construction lines in there. Oh, what a happy little bunny. All right. Now, um, on those big bunny feet, let's put some little lines for the toes, like that. And what we can do is we can sort of round off the bottom of those a little bit. That kind of helps them look like toes. All right, what a cute bunny. And we'll do the same thing. We'll make little, little toes right there on the hands. Okay, not toes, but fingers, silly. Okay, now it's time to um, refine our bunny. And um, we'll start here with the ear. And the nice thing about the bunny is if you have to sketch the line, you can just make it look like fur. And let's put some shading in there. Like that. that and shade in there. I did a little better job shading the other ear, so let me come back in and go over this some more. There we go. And now we're going to refine this hair a little bit. Put some marks in there and and we'll put a little bit, of, a little bit of shadow right under there, a little bit of shadow under there. And now, coming over here, might be better if we let that connect right there. Let's take out that part right there and let that come down a little bit and connect up right there. There we go. All right, now we can come around here, and I think this can get a couple little tufts of hair there. We'll do the same thing on the other side. 
What a cute little guy this is turning out to be. Whoops, got a stray mark there. Didn't mean to do that. All right, and now these eyebrows, I'm just gonna shade them a little bit like this with some, with some lines. And now for the, for the pupil, now I didn't give this bunny an iris, and that, that's part of the eye. The pupil is that center black part, and the iris is the colored part around it. So I'm not giving him an iris just to keep him a little more simple, but you certainly can. You can you can adjust the size of the pupil. You can put these eyes looking in a different direction. We can try that. We're going to do some lessons where the characters are looking in different places. Yeah, and then this eye. And so carefully shade right around the highlights first so they don't accidentally sh uh, sort of just shade right over them. Um, we can use the eraser to clean them up, but it's best if we can leave that pure white paper. So I hope you're having fun doing this and making your own cute bunny. And like I said, if it looks a little different, that's all right. I've actually experimented with lots of different sizes of eyes and circles and I'm just showing you the ones that I really liked. But some of the things I draw, I'm not real happy with the way they come out. So you know what, I just set them aside. Um, sometimes I throw them away, sometimes I keep them so I can look at them later. And you know, I find out later they're not as bad as I thought they were. They're actually Got something to offer, something cute or good. All right, let's shade that nose and leave a little bit of highlight on it. All right. Your pencil will only get so dark and uh, we may ink and color these at some time. We can make coloring pages out of them. Let us know if you'd like to have coloring pages of these or if you'd like to have uh, sort of step-by-step -step printable drawing lessons and uh, we can figure out how to make that happen. All right. We're going to draw a little more of that belly there and we're going to just shade in here and under here a little bit. This is just shadow where the light doesn't get to so it's a little darker down here. And just like it's a little darker right under the neck there. We can do a little bit on the shoulders and a little bit under the arms. A little bit under there. And then right here on the underside of the feet, show a little curve there. And that gives it form. A little bit on the toes. All right, he's just about done now. In order to help place him on the ground, we're gonna just do a little, little bit of shading here. And then uh, if you want, you can draw a couple of blades of grass. Just draw some, just draw some little lines coming up. Like that. And there we have our cute little bunny rabbit. Looks like um, he'd be a great rabbit to draw for Easter, or really any time you want to draw a cute bunny rabbit. So uh, thanks so much for watching this lesson. Um, I hope that you will draw a rabbit and that you will share this lesson with your friends. Um, please like this lesson. Leave us a comment about uh, if you'd like to see the coloring pages or step-by-step -step printable lessons. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Have fun drawing.